My name is Stephen John McKenzie. I'm a 68-year-old artist living in Newark, New Jersey. I've been a part of Newark in the art scene for 27 years now. First employed in the Newark Museum as an in the education department, and then employed in the Newark print shop for six years. The art in which I devoted my life to is the art of printmaking and its various processes. After mastering the four techniques of printmaking, that being intaglio, lithography, relief, and screen painting, I began to consider how can I take printmaking outside the conventional studio in which I thought it was constrictive. I wondered in what ways can I make printmaking my own and develop a experimental mode in which I can take the printmaking outside the conventional studio and without using the traditional printmaking press. One day, while driving past the highway pavement crew and watching the pavement roller flatten some asphalt, inspiration struck. The roller being used to flatten the asphalt can be used as a press. And you can drive it. <laughs> Buy <Viola! laughs> It was the spark that drove me to buy the steam roller for $600, and within months, I made my first steam roller print that measured 100 feet. From that point, I established a world record recognized by Guinness for the biggest monoprint ever printed. I thought it was the culmination of all of my ambitions and desire, a real feeling of accomplishment. While living in Newark, I began to have thoughts about returning home and what it means. And I came to realize that even though I felt a part of Newark and the art scene, I, never, I felt that my heart belonged back to my home state of Minnesota and my hometown of Lake City where I was born and raised. The hometown, is the, my hometown is not only home to me, but it's home to my a family and my ancestral roots. My grandparents, my family members, and my forebears are all buried there. When World War II came about, uh, my father and his twin brother Dave were born and raised and lived and worked and worked in Lake City their entire lives. When World War II happened, the defining moment of their lives began. They enlisted in the Navy. During their time of service, among other things, they witnessed a terrible aftermath at Hiroshima. Uh, after finishing their duties in the Navy, they returned to Lake City to marry, to have family, and to work with their father in the farm machinery and car business, ultimately buying them out. Me being born in 1951, I grew up in an environment of warmth and security with a strong sense of personal identity. My education included two degrees, one a BA in art, in art and an MA in art, both achieved in Minnesota. In my early 30s, desiring a wider horizon for me and my art, I moved east. There, I earned my MFA in art in Rutgers in 1984. And there, I met my wife. And we were married, and then we got married in 1985. Years later, our one and only son, Ian, was born in 1994. I practically know the date and time, time he was conceived. My wife and I were married for 34 years. Some good, some rocky, until breast cancer claimed her in 2017. After her passing, the idea of returning home began to grow stronger in my mind. One day, a friend from Minnesota called me with an opportunity. Would I be interested in buying his home and land in Minnesota? Upon viewing the, the land and the house, I began to take, I chose to take the opportunity. So I was returning to Minnesota, which would be viewed as a coming of circle for my life, my home, my roots, to my roots, and for the final years as an artist. Thank you.